what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd What's up, y'all? You tuned in to another Talk to Town interview with your girl, Brianna Imani. And who do we have in the building today? Oh, man. D4 and Sloan in the building on Sloan. We got D4 and Sloan in the building. West Philadelphia, born and raised. Oh, definitely. Happy belated birthday. Appreciate that. How was that yesterday, right? Yeah, was, I ain't do nothing yesterday, though. I ain't do nothing. What? I was chilling, I was chilling yesterday. Yeah. Okay, well, you in New York, so. Yeah, I'm on New York today, though, so How? yeah. How's it been so far? It's good, you know, I'm enjoying the um shopping experience, you know. Oh yeah, I'm it's sure. Definitely. Mr. Put It On. Yeah. I know you enjoying <laughs> your time out here. Most definitely. Okay, so let's get right into it. So were you born and raised in Philadelphia? I know I said that, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and what was that like growing up? Oh, it was the um the normal growing up in like, you know, black coach community, you know. Mm -hmm. It was normal hood. Okay. Yeah. Like, so were you like were you socially no, like yeah i was i was um i was like in like boxing mm -hmm. all my life yeah that's what i was mainly into boxing okay always boxing and like 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 getting dressed too though like, like okay you know, back in the day so you've been putting it on yeah like when arrow comedy and stuff like that true religion like always was. wow yeah that was a throwback i remember when arrow was a thing too yeah okay so were you always like popular did you always have like a social life yeah especially up? in west philly yeah i was always known throughout west philly yeah. Okay, so when you started making music, was it surprising to people? Were they kind of expecting it? Yeah, I mean, in school, I don't, I was still in school when I first started making music. Mm -hmm. Like, like when I first made music, like yeah. So I don't know what what people's reaction like initially was, but I know that it was like people was like grasping to me though. Like, okay, so you said you were in school. Was this high school, middle school? When I first made music, yeah, I was like in eighth grade. First, first made my first song, but I wasn't really. Making music, but I made okay. it. Okay, yeah. so you made your first song. Was it like it was like SoundCloud? You was SoundCloud, yeah, SoundCloud, right? SoundCloud. Okay, so they was so you had the social life. You was putting it on, and you was making music. Mm -hmm. That's lit. Yeah, so that? at what point did you realize like that was really something that was gonna take off? I don't know. Seeing a reaction from people like every time you drop a song, like reaction, like people really. Like I don't know, it'd be like a like a certain type of reaction. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind and of reaction? Especially, but I don't like back then. It was different. I was in school, but I knew everybody was ah. Da, da, da. You heard this song on people was playing it. Yo, da, da, da. Uh -huh. but it was different. Like I mean, later on down the line, when I really like became popular. Okay, so <laughs> what point was that when like it really started taking off? Um, I had stopped making music for a little bit. Then I started making music again, like in 2018, 19. Okay. And I blew up in 2019. When I was still in high school. Okay, like, so why did you stop making music? Um. We just stopped. I don't know. It wasn't focused. Oh, I was still okay. boxing. My friend died. Like when I first started with, his name was Tamir. I'm sorry. That's what mm -hmm. Deform stands for. Yeah, Dufamir. So, okay. That's how that. That's when I stopped. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, moving forward, you made you know a name for yourself in the music scene. But mm -hmm. I'm curious to know, like, if it didn't start picking up, would you have considered like pursuing boxing, or what would it have been if it wasn't for music? Yeah, pro I probably would be boxing. I probably would be boxing. But I got hit by a car, so I, that's what made me stop. Oh. I my car and I broke my ankle. Okay. Well, I mean, and look at you now. So, I mean, yeah, sometimes yeah. things happen. Yeah, Not to say yeah. you should have got no, hit by a car, but, you know, certain things happen <laughs> you know, just so that. I say it all the time, though. Great. I feel like everything happened for a reason. Like, it'd be like, God. Mm hmm That's what I say. Okay. So, you verify now. So, clearly, you going up. How did you feel when you got your blue check? Oh, it's crazy. I didn't even know I had it. I was, um, I looked, somebody had tagged me and Bobby Smurda and something, and I seen my name next to his name, but I seen a blue check on my name. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell is like his doing? Like, I don't know, there was like some glitch from his name to my, I don't know what the fuck it was, you feel me? So you wasn't even But I been, I ain't gonna say I wasn't, because I been was supposed to be verified. Like, oh. I feel like I been was supposed to be verified, like, 2019, 20, like, when I first started. So you must have been really, really late, 2019, to lit, say that yeah. you should have been verified. Lit, yeah. I was, I was, yeah, most definitely. What makes you say that? Like, what made you so I was doing, like, a million views every... And I had like a lot of people like writing about blogs about me on like mm -hmm. Safari on Google. I was about to say Safari <laughs> on Google. So like, I, yeah, I was doing millions of views like every month. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, still are. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what was the initial support from like your friends and family when you started making your music? When you started getting lit? Oh, it was lit. We was um, it was a lot of us like back then. You know what I'm saying? It was like a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Like it was lit. Like everybody was supporting. Was there a difference lit. between eighth grade? Sloan oh, making yeah, his yeah, music no, yeah, and then definitely. the support yeah, because you it was more we older now we got like we making different type of music we older we 
we look different, we older. Like, I don't know, I guess it's because we older. I mean, not only in the music, but in the support. Because, you know, like, a lot of people, they wait until you start getting lit for them to support you. So yeah. that's why I'm wondering, like... But they seem like, yeah, it was different because you see everybody supporting now. Like, you see not even just, like, in-house. Mm-hmm. You see out-house people, you don't, like, everybody, like, you would see it, like, damn, like, this person, you drive past, listen to, damn, I just heard this person listen to you, I heard this person. It's mm-hmm. on the radio now. Like, the radio playing you, I'm hearing you mm-hmm. on the radio, and I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? So it was like that. When was the first time you heard yourself on the radio? I was on a block. Um, we was waiting in the car. I see my homie car right there. We was waiting in his car all day. Like, we was waiting because they told us they was about to play it. Mm-hmm. So we was waiting for him to play it. It was like 4 o'clock p.m. Like, outside just waiting all day for them to play it. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. we like an hour. They said they going to play it around this time. Blah, blah, blah. And when was that? We was hyped for that for, for that for that good three minute play. But when when was it? That was what? 2019. 2019? Yeah, 2019. Okay, yeah. so 2019 was really the year. 2019 was, yeah, that was when the first, everything first jumped off. So how do you think things have changed now? Because I feel like, you know, radio plays are still a thing, but most people, they stream their music. We looking it up on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, f- go, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead. Keep going, go ahead. So how <laughs> do you feel like, are you still looking forward to that? Is that still something that you even look out for? Like what? radio plays? No, now it's like they play every, like they, I don't even, like, like has it like, ooh, damn, this like send it over. They they play it now like mm-hmm. by themselves. They play like a lot of my songs too. Not even just one. They play like I got like three songs in rotation every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I know which ones they are, but which which songs you got in rotation which on radio? They are. I feel like Drive Who Crazy. Mm-hmm. I would say. Um, s- uh, Wag Walk. <laughs> Sorry, so I talk. Sweet talk. Yeah, sweet talk. <laughs> And um, I don't know. I know you just put out a song with D Sturdy. I don't think yeah, that's, that, that's that's on the radio too. That's oh, okay. Yeah, that's is that yeah. the third? Yeah, that, I, it's crazy. I forgot about that. That is on the radio too. They played on the radio a lot. Okay, so there was the third. Um, Baby Shark a song called oh, Baby Shark. Okay, okay, that's still on the radio. That's, that's still right. on the radio. Yeah, they know. Okay, something. all right. So you just told me what D4M stands for, and I know like you were making music with Skiano at first. You guys, mm-hmm. well. I won't say at first, but you guys were a duo, and y'all were really like blowing up. Yeah, most definitely. Um, the hottest duo to do it. How has most it definitely. been um, being a solo artist? It was a it was a huge transition. It was a huge transition because like this mainly the studio process, the performing process. Like you get what I'm saying. Like we we both bounce off each other energy. Like from mm-hmm. performance, I'm gonna say performance wise, it's like we both. We both rapping. We got like different things. I'm interacting with crowd. He dancing, interacting. You know what I'm saying? But we interacting with crowd in two different ways. But mm-hmm. as Bill Snuffy Travis, they love seeing both of us like electric in a bottle. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Lightning in a bottle. I said electric. I'm tripping. I mean, I, get, I get Yeah, it. so it's like he dancing and I'm interacting. Duh, 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 I'm making eye contact with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Dirt stuff. I'm grabbing the phone. He dancing. But it's like we both, that's how it was performance wise. In the studio, we coming up with songs together. Like, like mm-hmm. yo, do this part. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now I'm just like in there by myself and I'm just gone. But you're doing it for the both yeah. of y'all. And yeah, I think it's really nice that still on your YouTube channel, it still does. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I keep the picture of me and him right there. I mm-hmm. keep the name not going to never change. Everything's still same. And I'm sure you're making him proud because you're doing your thing. Almost so done. that's really, really dope. So what's your thoughts on like the music climate now versus when y'all were going up at the time? Because it's kind of changed. Yeah, it do change every, it what, every year. What, what are your thoughts every on how it is? <laughs> how, what are your thoughts on what it, how it is right now? It's lit. It's lit. It's bigger than it ever been. I would say that too. It's bigger than it. It's more bigger than it ever been. Mm-hmm. And what do you think is? I will talk about Philly music specifically, but what do you think it was that put it on the map? Because I know y'all were making music, and I'm not saying y'all is doing you specifically, but like I feel like now is the time that everybody's tuned yeah, in. Yeah, but this would be. I would say this with every city, like every city, not even just our city. Like TikTok was a big, like mm-hmm. a big, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I it think definitely TikTok, gave yeah. a lot of exposure to it. So you say TikTok? Yeah, and it's more like little. Yeah, so so curious to know, like, what artist do you think was the one that like really popped it off? Like, right. whose music do you think? Because you know, there's been like a lot of TikTok challenges. Yeah. And I feel like that's usually now how the music gets popping, especially yeah. on TikTok. So like, who would you say was the one that like put it on the map? With TikTok, like with the party like, stuff. With the Philly, yeah, like with the Philly. Music. Well, the first people do it was me and Ski. You feel me, me and Ski? I know. Yeah, we did Baby Shark. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, I came back. And just dropped Chew Bop Land. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On TikTok. Yeah, that was a pop too. So mm-hmm. that's that was like the first party song from Philly mm-hmm. on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Then after me. Chew Bop Land, you say? Yeah, Chew Bop. Okay. Then after me, it was, um, who dropped after? Was it, who dropped after me? I think it was Zasos and D30. I think it was them. I don't know if it was them or two. No, it was them. It was them. It was them. It was them. Then they, yeah, they, 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 they joined crazy. 
fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And then to where, you know what I'm saying? Then it, but once they did it, it just started going, like, they, they, they doing the hips. Like, it's the young boys from the city. They got these little hip mm-hmm. dance. Right. Then it started, like, going more crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That brought more attention to it, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was going to ask you next. Like, do you think that that, like, yeah, helped? Yeah, that, that dance, that dance really made it. Yeah, and I mean, when I listen to it now, it's like, it's kind of like, you can't help but no, to do it. Were you, and I know that some artists were, like, asking people to dance to their music and stuff, like, to get the songs out there. Were you doing that? Or was it really, no, like, all organic? No, no, it was all organic. I don't even dance. That's fire. <laughs> I, said, I don't really dance, so I really don't. I mean, I know you yeah. don't, but I'll yeah. So I really, I really, I just post the music. I just like the, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. People think they like they expecting me to dance, but I really just. I, I be mean, shit. like they be expecting even when I'm like I make you would think since I make party songs and I'm from Philly, I do it too. Yeah. So you don't yeah. do like a little one two. You I know? do my little two step and bop. You know what I'm two step and bop. We we rocking up hips now. I done the dancing. dancing. <laughs> okay, story. so um. I know you made the song with D Thirty, like I said before. Like, mm-hmm. what other upcoming artists are from Philly? Are you like? I got two about? songs with Um Tour. I got Um, I got who else? I got a song coming with soon, like Philly. I don't know. I'm 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 willing to work with everybody though. Like, I'm willing to work with everybody I fuck with, like genuinely, genuinely though. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't even do songs with everybody. Okay. Um, I show love to everybody though. I show love. I'm not no like no cocky, but I just don't. So what gotta, is yeah, it makes sense like because okay, everybody your sound that. gotta you know what I'm saying the sound gotta make sense too. Okay, so mm-hmm. it has to it has to make sense. It's not something that could just. Cause like, I got like a grizzly voice. Like mm-hmm. you don't want to force a record. It's, it ain't a. I think it's all about collabing like organically. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like yo, this makes sense. This sound good with this sound. Like you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So who, if you had to name three people that you would want to collab with that you think would fit the voice and fit the vibe, who would it be that you haven't collabed with yet? In Philly or no, it could be uh, anywhere. <laughs> I'm a, I want to collab with Doja Cat. Yes, Doja Cat. I want to collab with Doja Cat. I want to collab with um. I want to collab with. I want to collab with um. Well, while you thinking, I'm gonna pick up yeah. on what you just said but, with Doja Cat. So yeah. you think she could? Well, I definitely think she could keep up with the vibe, yeah. with the energy. So I'm curious, like, why, why her? Cause like I like how she be switching her flows up and like different. Like I heard a song called "Get Into It." I like that. Mm-hmm. Like I like she got like a different vibe to her. You get know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's different. You know, there was like a very controversial question or a conversation out there not too long ago with Doja Cat being considered a rapper or not. Do you think that she can be considered a rapper? I don't know. I don't know. Cause I'm gonna keep it. Big. I don't even know too many songs from Doja Cat. I know. I know like I know like, I know like that song oh, right there. Oh, you gotta you gotta do your do your homework. Cause Doja Cat got some bops out there. Yeah. She she rap and sing though. So I don't mm-hmm. know if she you know she an artist. It ain't that can't be a controversial thing. Like it's whatever she want. Okay. She got she an artist. Okay. She and what would you money. can what would you consider yourself like? What kind of artist would you categorize yourself as? I'm a trap rock star. Trap rock star. I don't think I've heard that before. Yeah. Okay. Who else would you put in that category? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, don't yeah. think I forgot, because you only named Doja Cat, and I kind of deflected a little bit, but we're going to yeah. go back on it. So give me your other two. Who would you want um, to hop on a track with you? I would hop on a track with, um, I want to do a song with Nicki Minaj. Okay. And I'm going to say. Are you a barb? No. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, All right. So we got Doja, Nikki, and um, what else I want to do? So I want to do so. Probably Future, Future. No, not Future. Yeah, Future. You that. would say that. Yeah, Future. You would say that. Yeah, I just seen this thing. I just seen this this um this, this post that said um, who music more toxic. They were slurring. But that's because they, um, uh-huh. that's because they hear a swag talking drive who crazy. That's why they say that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. You know, it's so funny you say that because we're going to get into that in a few. We're going to get into <laughs> yeah. that. So that's why I said it's funny that you would say future, but you show love to the ladies. So yeah. that's really, really dope. So how would you describe your sound being that it's so unique um, and it's very dependent on who gets on the track with you? How would you describe your sound to somebody who's never heard your music? Swag, per, like per swag, per. P U R E swag, just purr swag. I got like a little accent. <laughs> like I got purr. accent. I got an accent. Purr. So when okay. I say it, it's pure swag. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, and like real grizzly, real grizzly, like. Yeah, but it's yeah. And how did you like discover that like voice, like the grizzly? <gasps> <laughs> I know. Me and Ski was in the studio one time, and we just was like going, like we just was like getting real creative with it. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
we getting real creative. We started off like stuttering. But we was doing it like, like we was like the way we stuttering, like it was like we was doing it deep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, but you, uh, uh. And then oh, it just. Oh, and you was like, oh, that's your fire. Yeah, we just, like, yeah, we was just rolling with it. Okay. And you kind of just touched on the next thing I was going to ask about the ad libs. Because you come up, like, do you come up with them on the spot? You have go tos? Oh, no, no. I got, I, I come up with it, it whatever, like, the thing or something. I, like, I like to, every song I like to, like, put a different type of ad lib in there. I use, like, some of the same ad libs. Like, mm-hmm. like, the uh is not an ad lib. It's, like, more of a, like, how I'm flowing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I got, like, an ad lib. I might put ill or I might put, oh my, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, little certain stuff. You know what I'm like saying? and it just so, like comes natural. Yeah, or? it comes real natural. It depends on the song, how I'm feeling during making the song. Uh huh. That's how I go. So how would you feel if like let's say tomorrow somebody drop a track and they sound very similar to you, like um, almost like they jacked your whole sound. Like how how would you feel about that? See like like I don't I don't know how I, feel. I don't like that that I really don't like that though. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that won't make it, that won't make me do a song with you type shit. So, you know like if you want to be cool with D-Form Sloan, try not to sound like me. So, you're not a believer of imitation being the best form of flattery. But, yeah, no, I'm not. But it's like, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I understand how influence, influential I am. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just was telling somebody that. Like, I'm like 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 the young thug in my city. Like, young thug with the shit. Like, okay. Like, on sound wise, like on, you know what I'm saying? With the, you know what I'm saying? The voice and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, you know how everybody was like doing him, like in Atlanta with the baby voice mm-hmm. and shit like that? Mm-hmm. So, I look at it like that. So I don't really be too mad as I should be. Like, I'm real humble. So I really don't be too mad. Like, my homies be mad when they hear somebody sound like me. Okay. But they be mad at me. I really don't be giving a fuck that much, but I don't like it. But I don't be like, oh, like I'm mad. You know what <laughs> I'm I mean, saying? Yeah, I was going to say, you speaking in the present. Like, it's happening already. Yeah. So you feel like people are already jacking your sound? Yeah, people been doing that since 2019. Sheesh. People been doing it, you know? I, I don't be. I mean, well. Yeah, I don't really say nothing, though. I don't really be. But I mean, what is this? Because I'll, I'll say I don't really. I no, nobody comes to mind. Maybe I'm not hit, but nobody really comes to mind when I think <laughs> of like your sound. So yeah. it's either they not really on yet, or they just not doing it right. So I don't know. nothing to be mad about. Okay, so you dropped your album last year. Uh-huh. Um, was it received the way that you anticipated? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most yeah, definitely. yeah. And how has how was that? The whole world still ain't here yet, so I can't. Man, I'm not gonna say most definitely because the whole world still ain't here yet. Probably like a tri state. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, or a few fans, the few the fans that I got like different cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like the whole world in here. So I'm not gonna say it was it was received how I wanted it because I wanted the whole world to so hear. So that yes, that's your goal for yeah. the whole world to hear it. Yeah, I ain't as big. I ain't super. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So you said the tri-state area was tuned in. Like, where does most of your fan base come from? Um, Philadelphia, Delaware, Jersey, Baltimore, New York, DC. Okay. Those like. Main, but it's still you got. I got fans out like Chicago, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shit like that. Okay. Seattle. So, you said what? Seattle. Seattle. Okay. I'm just re- I'm just thinking about the spot, the Apple Music, Spotify shit. Uh huh. more what I can't think. Yeah. Okay. So what? Walk me through like your creative process. Like what is what is that like? Uh, it's a. I, I'm in the studio listening to a beat. I'm in the studio listening to a beat. I like the studio real dark, like damn near red. Dark, dark red. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dark. Mm-hmm. Why and does that ha- help you, like, get in the zone? I don't zone? know. I just need, like, to be real dark. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird when it comes to that. <laughs> Everybody has their things. You know, and sometimes I like to, I go in a boot. I like to make it feel like my man Skiano next to me. I might have one of my, like, come on, I don't smoke weed and like that, but mm-hmm. he used to smoke weed, like, on the side of my face while I'm recording the whole time. So I might tell one of them to come, like, yo, like, smoke next to me record. Like, just, and hell, do your little thing right next to me record. Just mm-hmm. hot box the booth. Oh, I just wow. go there. That's so interesting. That's interesting, right? So you don't write before you get into the booth. You write while you're there. No, I can't. It's like I always try to write before I go to the studio. Like I might try, but I might try to do it two days before I'm going to the studio. like. Yo, I know I got a session scheduled for this day, mm-hmm. so I'm trying to write two days before, but I can't focus. Where I'm, I gotta go in the studio and focus. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you come up with all that toxic shit on the spot. Yeah, because I'm like, all right, you just say, I don't give a fuck about your man. Fuck on the first night she burnt out. Sight me, see, I Talking turn about up. fucking on friends and all of that. Like, so you come up with that on the spot. So now I'm feeling like, is that real life? <laughs> Gangster. Oh. <laughs> so that's based on, your, your lyrics based on real life? 
You gonna get me in trouble with the um? <laughs> Who? I'm getting yeah. in trouble with somebody. So they ain't gonna get me in trouble. They just gonna be. I'm, Sorry, it's just an No, it ain't. <laughs> 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 no, it just yeah, it's real life though. That's me. Yeah. Yeah, everything I mean, everything I say. So, how does that translate when it comes to dating? Because I know, like, I would, I don't know how I feel about approaching yeah. a nigga that like talking about stuff like that, especially if it's applicable to your real life. So, yeah. how does that work? How do you separate your dating life from the stuff that you talk about in your music? I, I I'm gonna explain this in like a bar. I got this bar. I say. She get mad when she hear my song. That pussy a draw. Who crazy? Uh, but I'm a rapper. But stop. I say, I'm a rapper. I say I'm a rapper. But stop nagging. This is what I do, baby. You get what I'm saying? Like that. Huh. So that's that's the way I'm gonna respond to that. I'm a rapper. Don't nag about okay. it. Don't date a rapper then. It's, you know? And won't. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> but so of course I gotta ask because drop who crazy was like it ran TikTok for a very long time. Low key still does, but. Mm -hmm. So that was inspired by somebody. Since everything is based on true life, that was inspired by somebody. Like that was inspired for every girl who got that thought in their mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. The thought that the pussy would drive me crazy. So yeah. I was like, psych, nah. Yeah, don't think that. Over here. And okay. there. All right. So how can you tell, like, as you're going up, like, if a girl is really interested in you? Because like they actually interested in you, or if it's just because you're getting lit, or because you are lit. How can I tell a girl? Oh, like how can I tell like if a girl really want me? Yeah, how can you tell if they not like cloud chasing? That's a, I really can't tell. I can't now. I can't now. I know I'm a good looking dude, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell now. I don't know. I really can't. Okay, so do you have certain like? I don't want to say standards, but that's for lack of better words. Like when you're dating now, is it, is your dating preference different than when you was coming up? Uh, no. see, no, I don't know, not really. Mm. I don't really do too much dating. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. I, I you be outside, so I'm a little surprised about that. Okay. So we're gonna get back to the music. So what do you do you prefer <laughs> recording music or do you prefer like performing in front of people? Oh, that's a good I don't know. I like both. It's they they in hand in hand because like I record and it's like you thinking about when I'm recording, I'm thinking about how it's gonna be when I perform it. That's crazy. Like that's Oh, okay. That's I'm thinking about how like when I say this part, you get what I'm saying? What the reaction is gonna be. Like how know? they gonna repeat this word for word in the crowd. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, so where's been? What's been like your favorite performance so far? Like the favorite place, your favorite place that you performed? Probably Powerhouse. I'm gonna say Powerhouse. Philly Powerhouse. Philly right? Power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I always, again, I was supposed to perform there in 2019. You know what I'm saying? So when I performed there, it was just like, it was like a great experience. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, and I saw you also like you performed quite a bit. But I also saw like you open up for little baby. Oh oh oh! At the dope shows yeah. in my city. And yeah. so that was yeah, the, okay. that was lit too. But yeah. the top top one was Powerhouse. What made that one so? Oh, they was the same. They was handing. I think it was more people there. That was the same place. Mm. It was at the Wells Fargo. So it was more people there, and they was rapping word from word there. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying Powerhouse, not based off like the people in the crowd, because it was more people there rapping word for word at the little baby one. Okay. At the dope shows one, than it was at the um. Powerhouse, like Powerhouse, they was rapping word from word, but it was more people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, but no, no, Powerhouse just on a simple fact that, like, damn, like since a kid growing up in Philadelphia, everybody going to Powerhouse, like growing. You know what I'm saying? Like you was so really yeah, for me, out, like, yeah, I was walk trying. I always wanted to go to the hallways and walk in the hallways with that shit on. Right. So now the fact that I'm performing on stage, mm -hmm. it was like different. So have you had any like crazy fan interactions? Oh, yeah. I know it's crazy. I always, I always want that question to come in the interview. I got, <laughs> I got a crazy stalker fan. Like she, like still, like yeah, like crazy. Oh, she gonna be the first. Like she was just at my video, last huh? show, like not my last show, my show from my last. She like wrote. How what? stalking? Stalking like she how? Like she just be popping up at the performances? Like what? What did she do? Like she was in a crowd. I was at like a club, club, but she was in a crowd, standing in the middle of the crowd, just looking at me with a serious face, like evil, serious face. You know what evil. I'm saying? Then I had my last performance. They said she was there since five o'clock. The first person there. She waited for me to get there. She tried to run up on me, but like my security grip. It's crazy. It was crazy. So what like separates 
like a stalker fan from like just like she just really fuck with you. Like what if no, she's no, just like I know, a no, 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 no. I'm gonna say that because I I seen her DM me before. I seen her on my request like back in the day. Like she had DM me like repeatedly, like crazy stuff though. <laughs> crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So at what point, did, like, would you block? Would you block a fan? I never blocked nobody damn one like that was the first person I blocked. Oh, you blocked her? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it was just getting to be too much. It was crazy. I'm like, God, like she damn me every day when she talk about like crazy stuff. Like when you say crazy, it's like crazy, like like crazy, like sexual like, stuff or crazy, like, like all type of crazy. Like I'm gonna like, pop up crazy and all type of crazy like that. Like oh no, she crazy. Yeah, she, yeah, she had slow drive her crazy. Clearly, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right. So are you fine? <laughs> just um. Stay what, tuned. Is, what does that mean? I don't know. I tell everybody that though. Shh. Just stay tuned. That's but I don't know if it's every, like a. A lot of people ask me that question. What I just say every time somebody asks me that question, I just. But you at talk of the town, so you got to move the finger and like you know you got to let us know something. Yeah, talk, it ain't it ain't the talk of the town yet though. It ain't. It ain't it okay, ain't. so soon come. Yeah, just so, keep I don't want to let too much. Okay, we can talk with this off camera. Okay, but so without giving out too much, what mm. would it take for a label to get you? Like, if you once the announcement comes out that you are signed, what like, what was it that made you sign to that label? A label, you gotta understand that this business is like a this is a multi billion dollar business and, and mm -hmm. brand. This is not no regular artist. Okay, come with like a elite team and a whole a real business behind it, like a real and a real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so they gotta understand that. Yeah, shout out to the team. So who's on, who's on your team? Um, my um, managed partner Ashin Frello, mm -hmm. publicist Christina, road manager Johnny Boy, um, cause um, creative stylist director Michael C. Smith. Um, okay, you got a team team. Yeah, a few more people. Okay, and clearly your team is doing their thing because outside of the music, I saw you on Bel Air. Yeah. Doing your thing on there too. Is this like something that we could look more forward to? Oh, yeah, Is acting brother. like yeah. rapper, yeah. actor? Yeah, yeah, no, most definitely. Yeah, you can see me. I'm gonna start like pushing the button on that too. Now yeah. I, I have, I ain't been ever since Bel Air. I ain't been like that focused on it because then like I dropped swag talking like that was crazy. So I've been focused on music. I've been booked for shows. So I ain't get focused on art. Right, let me go hit this person up with this and do this. Mm -hmm. So I ain't get a chance to like. But yeah, this summer I'm gonna start. You gonna see more. Of me. Okay. Well, looking forward to it. Okay. okay. So, what co-signs like have you received so far that kind of like may have shocked you or like really excited you? I got co-signs from um, Meek Mill, um, um, I was just talking to Bobby Smurda because he had um did a video dancing to my um my song. Okay. Swag talk. I was just talking to him. Shout out to Bobby. Shit. Are you um are you are you tuned into the New York music? Yeah, I'll be hearing about like certain stuff about New York. You be hearing about it, but do you listen like, to it? I heard certain songs, yeah. I don't listen to too much of it though. Like Okay. I know I listen in. to um I used to listen to Pop Smoke, Fabio. Um I be hearing about the the Bronx, the Bronx. The Bronx artists. Yeah, I'm hearing about that. Yeah, you gotta tap in, you gotta tap in. Okay, so um now I already said it before. You missed to put it on. So what's hot right now? Like you know, spring is coming in. Might need a little style tips. Like what? What's hot for twenty twenty two spring? Damn, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I really, I don't know. I like everything. I like everything I like. Okay. So I don't know what's like. I dress how I feel. Okay, you know so it's not really a style. Yeah, a train it ain't like type a style thing. like that. Just like everybody, just go put this exact outfit on. I wouldn't even tell nobody to do that. No, it, it, it don't got to be outfit, but what's yeah. like a, all right, like what's like a, what was a wardrobe must have for you? Like a, a cop that you had to get this year so far. Let's, let's say that. What was like your best cop? Man, I shop so much. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I was looking for this off-white hoodie. It was like a fur off-white hoodie. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they got it in the stores no more, so I just had to grab this Celine. Celine for a hoodie. Okay, excuse me. So, all right, let's do a trip drip check. What you what you got on, Mister? Put that on. I got on some um, lambing sneakers. Okay. Suzy plain black jeans. I got. I met um. This is from a boutique. Um, I'm, my stylist, one of my stylists, introduced me to. 
Okay. Okay. That's nice, Lil Cuddy. Asa. Asa Blanca. Asa Blanca. Okay. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> Yeah, Casa Blanca. I, I got no place to correct you. I ain't know. <laughs> oh, and I got a um human head on. I got a human head on. Shout out to um okay. Ron, Ron Poison. Yeah, I'm, I'm in lockdown with Ron Poison. I just performed that fashion show. Dope. Co- that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, I saw you sitting right next to the runway, New York Fashion Week. You oh, were yeah. you were really you really out here. Oh, yeah, most dope. Okay, so <laughs> how important do you think your style is to your image? It's very important to me. I I like people can um. I feel like, like when people look at me, they they think it. You get what I'm saying? That's how I treat that. When people look at this, damn, I think of D. Form Sloan. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So dope. you think that's one of the things that comes to mind when they think of you, like your style? Yeah, like you think of like a hat to match the outfit, like glasses. When you think of me, like mm-hmm. some shades on. And I know you mentioned like a creative. You have like, well, you have like a stylist. Yeah. So do you put on you put to, your outfits together yeah, or yeah, no? Yeah, I got I got yeah. I put everything you see me on my Instagram. I put it on. Okay. I got certain stuff on my page made from like no. I got a few stylists though. I don't got just one. I got a mm-hmm. creative director stylist. I got like a stylist who make stuff personally. Okay. So like that yeah. Okay, so like, um, what's some advice that you would give to like an upcoming artist? Um, who's trying to make a name for themselves or trying to turn their name into a brand, like you mentioned before? My my main thing is to say is like just be as different as possible. You get what I'm saying? And um, that's like the main key though, like to be mm-hmm. as different and stand out, and like so people can like, you get what I'm saying? When they look at you, they like, damn, like it's like, you get what I'm saying? More intriguing to okay. the eye. That's okay. how, that's my be as different as possible. That's okay. Main key. And what's next for? D four M Sloan, what can we expect for you, from you? You know, for the rest of the um, year. I might drop one more single, or I might a big feature. A big feature? Yeah, Is that what you feature. just said? Yeah, big feature. Oh. Yes, my next hmm. single. When when can we expect that? Cause I know you're not. Can we, can we get a hint? When uh, when you can expect it? No, on who it is. Uh, is is one of y'all favorite? Um, <laughs> Everybody say that. <laughs> oh, it's one of your favorite artists. One of y'all favorite um, female artists. Oh, female artists. Okay, yay. In the world. In the world. <laughs> oh, in the world is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's okay, that's exciting. Yeah. So when when can we expect that? Probably. Today. Probably end of this month, early June. Okay, just in time for summer. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so. Is there anything else that you would like, you know, to put out there? Anything you would like for the people to know before we wrap it up? Um, swag talk, drive crazy out now. And if you ain't know, you probably know, but hopefully you do know to stream it and go crazy. You know what I mean? We're going crazy all summer. D Form Sloan gang. Okay, and shout out your socials just so the people can follow you. D Form Sloan on everything, man. Follow me on everything. Slime.